Okay, guys, Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, I got tagged in the Why You Garden. Uh, I don't know if you call it a Why You Garden Challenge or whatever it is, but uh, anyway, I got tagged by Garden Obsessions. Um, now, those guys, you need to go on and look at their channel because I'm going to tell you, they do a fantastic job on their channel. They uh, really have a lot of talent for uh, you know putting containers together and uh, beds and things like that. The stuff they do just looks great. I don't know if they look that stuff up, if they just naturally know how to do it or what, uh, but they have a really good channel. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, it's Gardening Obsessions. Um, so Gardening Obsessions, I will answer your five questions and I will tag this. First question, ask, uh, why do you garden? Why do you garden? Well, I like to uh, I like to get outdoors. Um, I coached for a long time, for about 13, 14 years. So, man, I was outside, you know, three or four hours a day, pretty much every day. Uh, I've always fished my whole life, so I love to be outdoors for that. Uh, and my family has always gardened. Um, you know, when I was a kid, we had a big garden, and my grandparents on my mother's side. Uh, we lived out in a rural area and uh, we had a big, you know, they had a, now I guess they'd call it a homestead, you know, but back then it was a farm. Uh, how long have you been gardening is question number two. Now, um, depends on what you, you know, define as gardening, but um, I mean, as far as landscaping stuff, I'll tell you what really kind of got me hooked after I got a house was uh, when we lived in Trenton, I planted some roses and um, I planted like, I remember I, I got like five or six roses and they were hybrid tea roses, so they're not easy to take care of. So I had to kind of learn what I was doing with it. So I started, you know, and they were pretty successful there. And I remember, you know, I grew a bunch of them. Man, they were pretty, they had all these, I had like all kind of different color ones. And I cut a bouquet and I took it to my wife and I gave her uh, this big bouquet of roses. And she was like, oh wow, this is just, well, I was kind of hooked there, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, this is a, you know, make your wife happy kind of thing. So, um, you know, that's probably what kind of got me started with my yard. Uh, but I mean, as I grew up, my mom and dad always kept, you know, all kind of stuff in the yard. I showed you my mom's yard. Yeah, you could probably go back all the way to the time when I was about four or five and I was with my great aunt in the garden and we were uh, weeding the garden and I said that she was a great whore. My, my grandmother was very, very amused by me calling my great aunt a uh, whore. So uh, all the way back to then. Uh, what do you grow? Question number three. Uh, I grow all kinds of stuff. I like perennials uh, and I like things to get big, you know, like, uh, um, Roses Sharon, um, camellias, stuff like that, that are southern plants. Uh, your um, crepe myrtles, you know, that kind of stuff. I like to grow those kind of plants. And then of course I like to have a garden, just a vegetable garden, because we like okra and squash. And then we try to concentrate on things that are expensive to buy in the grocery store. Um, or stuff that's not as good if you buy it, you know, from the grocery store. Question four, what is your favorite thing to grow? My favorite thing to grow, um, I would say roses or, or, you know, they're still my favorite thing to grow uh, because they're just so pretty. When they when they bloom out to me, there's nothing prettier than, than a rose. Um, it's something about it because it's a kind of standalone, you know, kind of flower. Um, I'll probably eventually get me some more hybrid uh, roses and this is number five for me uh, why do you YouTube um, well I started YouTube and uh, initially when well, my wife that has a YouTube channel that is a cooking show and it's, she's been you know very successful with that so when she started doing that um, you know I became interested because I would do stuff with her YouTube um, and so I became familiar with it and how it works and uh, how you do it and we started learning some things about how to tag and how to title and when to publish and you know all this kind of stuff so anyway uh we did some research on that and then when it came time for me to retire when i got down toward the end of my retirement um i thought man it would be cool to kind of chronicle this with a youtube channel about me you know the last 45 days of me in my career in education 
So that's how I started it. And I've always had a lot of fun uh, doing that kind of thing, like doing videos. I did a lot of videos for my school for behavior uh, stuff. And I may publish some of those. I can't publish the ones that have kids in them. So that really kind of limits what I can publish. But I may go back and publish some of those old videos. But me and the PE teachers and some of the other teachers in the school really had a good time making those videos. So I like making videos. Um, I like YouTube. I like looking on YouTube and finding all the information out. So um, that's why I YouTube. Uh, and it's fun. I'm going to tag. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't miss them. Okay, one of them is a guy, Brew City, B-R-E-W, Brew City, and I'll put these on my uh, description, Brew City Gardener. Uh, now, that's Milwaukee, or that's Wisconsin, you know, I guess. Um, he does a, he's a, uh, one of the guys that gardens in the hay bales, um, and he's really good at it. Uh, he does a lot of things. He goes into a lot of detail about it, really does his research. You can learn a lot. If you're one of the hay bale people, uh, or you're interested in that, uh, he's a, a you know, fairly new channel, uh, so I'm going to tag him, uh, but he's somebody you can really learn a lot for, I, from. I like his channel, so that's one. Um, second one, the Ripe Tomato Farms, another new channel. Uh, this guy is in the Pacific North, Northwest, um, Vancouver Island, I believe that area. Now, he, you know, again, these are entirely different regions than where I live. You know, I'm in the south, it's hot and all this. Uh, so we were, why would I watch these guys? Well, they give you a lot of information. They're not like me. I'm just out here growing stuff and if it works, it works. And you know, I'm not a, you know, I'm, I'm do this kind of part time and it's part of my yard. Uh, these guys are seem to be more professional with it. Ripe City, uh, I'm sorry, Ripe uh, Tomato Farms especially. He uh, runs, you know, a nursery. It's his business. Um, tons of information. Uh, you know, has to do a lot of stuff in greenhouses because of his climate. Uh, a lot of the planning information, how he does things. Uh, very good channel. Very detailed. Uh, like he has learned a lot from him. And then another uh, fairly new channel is Grandma Rose's Homestead. Now, Grandma Rose, um, if you like to just sit back and just listen. To a lady with a sweet southern voice that um, is just enjoyable to listen to. It's like sitting down, it's Grandma Rose. You know, it's like sitting down with your grandmother in the kitchen and just listen. You know how they just talk and they just talk and just keep talking and you just keep listening. That's kind of how she is, uh, but she has a, you know, a great garden, um, beautiful plants in her yard, and she'll get out and talk about, you know, a rose of Sharon and just sit down and talk about you know the rose of Sharon for 15 minutes you know and it's just fun to listen to and uh and she's got a you know a good perspective on things so Grandma Rose's Homestead that's my three tags Brew City Gardener uh Ripe Tomato Farms Grandma Rose's Homestead uh, I like to watch all three of those so I'll tag them uh for the Why You Garden uh five questions tag challenge whatever you call it that's what it's coming you guys way um, so anyway, thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire, um, and you guys have a great day.